Hi guys, welcome to the RPA Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about a continuation of a Wittig reaction. So in previous lecture, we are discussing about a, a complete reaction of a Wittig. Again, it's a mechanism with a different stereoselectivity E and J. Again, we have prepared, uh, we have prepared some of the elides, okay, the preparation method of some of the elides. Based on the stability, the stereochemical as aspect of uh, elides, it is different. Non-stabilized elides, it will give the Z isomer. Stabilized will give the E isomer. But semi-stabilized, it will give the mixture of isomers, okay. Now in this lecture, we are discussing about um, like a reaction with uh, ethers. Okay, ether containing ether containing a light. Now the second one is uh, reaction with the epoxide. Okay, here ether ether containing a light. Okay, now here reaction with the epoxide. Now the third one is uh, like a uh, intramolecular reaction. Now the final one is uh, uh, like a uh, hemiacetals, uh, cyclic uh, hemiacetals, cyclic uh, hemiacetals. Now we'll go through the one by one. Okay, so the first one is a reaction with the ethers, a reaction with the ether containing elides. Now here it is the, like a, it is the carbonyl compound, either ketone or uh, aldehyde, whatever it may be, I would, I would like to take the ketone. Now here it is the elide PPH3 plus, okay, now which containing the CH, here it is OCH3. Okay, CH2 or CH3. Whenever uh, we use it the best, then it becomes uh, CH minus. Okay, it is the elide. So elide containing ethers. Now what will happen in case of elide containing ethers? Okay, now here we know that uh, here it is the preparation of uh, OCH3. Okay, we are discussed in previous lectures very uh, like very familiar with that uh, the reaction of a Wittig. Okay, now here this double bond here phosphorus and oxygen. Uh, with, Phosphorus PPH3 again oxygen which is eliminated as a, like a PH3P double bond. It is a, like a triphenyl phosphonyl oxide. Okay. Now here we will get the like a, a vinyl ethers like a vinyl ethers. So in this uh, vinyl ethers we use the like some of the uh, acidic mediums like tocyl oxide or uh, any mild acidic reagents. Here it becomes uh, OH that means here hydral, uh, like hydrolysis takes place now here we will get the OH whenever enols are unstable that that that, that, that will undergo keto enol tautomerism we will get the like here C double bond OH simply it is represented as a CHO okay CHO it is the very familiar reaction so sometimes they are given in the like a ether containing uh, elides it will treat it with either ketones or aldehyde we will get the like vinyl ether so vinyl ether undergoes the hydrolyzed uh, hydrolyzed in terms of like a mild uh, mild acidic reagents now we will get the like aldehydes okay which is very easier and familiar reaction with a uh, Wittig now I'll do the uh, now I'll go through the another example of uh, reaction with epoxides reaction with epoxides now here it is the epoxide. So in the, in this case of epoxides, we will treat it with the phosphorus Wittig reagents. So that is nothing but Wittig reagents. CH minus. Like uh, here, I would like to take the uh, withdrawing groups. Okay. Now here it is phosphorus elides. So now here it is uh, epoxide. Now what will happen? What is the major product in case of a uh, Wittig reaction treated with epoxides? Okay. Now here, uh, let us assume it is the above the plane or below the plane. Now I assume that it is the above the plane. It is oriented at the above the plane. Our nucleophile attacks the below the plane manner. Now our nucleophile attacks the below the plane manner. Now we will get the like this type of uh, opened epoxide conformation CH PPH3 plus okay here COO ethyl here COO ethyl so here the positive charge of phosphorus like negative charge on the uh, oxygen they both are forms the bond with the bonds now here it is O PPH3 like a CH COO ethyl, CH COO ethyl. Okay, now however, the phosphorus tendency it forms with more electronegativity atoms. That means uh, here it creates the phosphorus oxygen double bond, phosphorus oxygen double bonds. Now, here, so the deficiency of uh, like a uh, let us assume that very clearly. Now here it forms the phosphorus oxygen double bond. Now the bonded two electrons, here it getting the negative charge. Here the loss of electron will give the positive charge. This negative charge will attack over the positive charge. Now it forms the like phosphorus, like a sub three membered cyclopropane ring with a COO ethyl. COO ethyl. Now here the elimination of a pH3 P double bond. O. It is the byproduct. It is the byproduct. However, it is continued in a, a like a different aspects. Now here it forms the oxide. Okay. Now it is the phosphorus oxide. So here it forms the like a beta like a gamma oxido phosphorus oxide. Now here it is alpha beta gamma. So gamma oxido phosphorus elide. Gamma oxido phosphorus elides. 
so here it, it gives the it, it prepares the like a double bond formation now with a uh, different conditions so now I, I would like to discuss the gamma oxido phosphorus halides what will happen in case i would like to trap over here okay now let us discuss this is the uh Wittig reaction with the epoxides we will get the like a uh, cyclopropane uh, cyclopropane along with our uh, substrates along with our uh, substrate which is nothing but a uh, coo ethyl coo ethyl now here the trapping of a uh, gamma oxido Elides. Okay. Now I would like to take the epoxide. Okay. Again here I used the reagent pH three P C H lithium. Okay. So this is the best reagent to prepare the uh, like a methylenating agent. Methylenating agent. Now what will happen here? It is the above the plane epoxide. Now here it is below the plane C H uh, like C H lithium. Now here P P H three P P H Three. That means here it creates the here positive, here negative. Okay, so these two are forms the double bond over here. It forms the double bond. So whenever uh, uh, this hydrogen will write the bottom one. Whenever I use it the like uh, any aldehyde like a benzaldehyde or any aldehyde, aromatic or aliphatic aldehyde, it creates the double bond over here. OH. C double bond phenyl. Okay, here it is a uh, uh, phosphorus attached group is a nor normal one. Now we will get the like a uh, phenyl. Here it is hydrogen. Now here it is a uh, hydrolyzed OH. Okay, here it is the uh, gamma oxido elides will trap it with a benzaldehyde. We will get the uh, uh, like a uh, uh, olefins. Like it is a C double bond C olefins. It is the second reaction. Okay, so now we'll go through the third one intramolecular. Intramolecular Wittig reaction. Intramolecular Wittig reaction. Okay. Intramolecular Wittig reaction, it creates the like a five membered, six membered, seven membered cyclic rings. Along with that, uh, it creates the like a uh, indole, like uh, heterocyclic, uh, heterocyclic uh, uh, aromatic compounds, indole, phen phen phenones. Okay. Now we discussed the over the examples. Uh, now here it is a uh, intramolecular reagent, it is PPH3 plus. Now here it is a carbonyl. Okay, here P pH three plus P pH three plus. That means uh, whenever I use the base like tertiary beta lithium or uh, uh, sodium methoxide, any base. Now here what happens? Here proton abstraction takes place. That means the deprotonation takes place. Here the deprotonation will give the negative charge over there. Negative charge over there. So now here it creates the P double bond O. Double bond O. P pH3 C double bond pH3 so that means uh, here this, this this carbon center here this carbon center these two are formed with a double bond that means olefins okay now however so this is the six, uh, six member ring now such type of rings how do you calculate now here one two three four five member so that means uh, here i would like to write the five member ring okay so finally one two three four five five and one so one two three four five five and one which contains double bond Okay, which contains a double bond. This is the Wittig intramolecular reaction. Wittig intramolecular reaction. Now, however, the fourth one is cyclic hemiacetals. Uh, we'll use the uh, aldehydes. Okay, now let us go through the. It is OH. It is OH. Whenever we will treat it with a PPH3, like a uh, CH, 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 CHO or CH2. Okay, that is a very easier example in case with the help of a beta lithium basis. Beta lithium basis. Uh, so, beta lithium bases are lessly used. Now, some other uh, tertiary beta, uh, tertiary potassium tertiary beta oxide. Okay, now before going to the attack of a Wittig reagent, it will convert it into like an opening of a ether, opening of a cyclic hemiacetal ether. Now, here OH. Here it is a double bond H. Here it is a double bond H. Now what will happen? So this double bond, this double bond is nothing but carbonyl compound. Our carbonyl compound will treat it with a Wittig compound. Now it creates the PPH3. That means a CH2. It is a, like I would like to take the R group. Here it is R. Now here it is OH. Okay. So now uh, whenever we see the molecule, uh, such type of molecules, it doesn't react with a uh, Wittig reaction. That's why there is no reaction. Okay. It is not. Uh, it is not correct. Okay. Here such type of hemiacetals will treat it with a uh, uh, Wittig compound. Will use the such type of products. Here if uh, I use the donating group, we will get the cis isomer. With the drawing group, I will we'll get the trans isomer as a measure. Trans isomer as a measure. Now here sometimes this is the Another example of uh, same category. Now here PPH3 with a CHCOO ethyl. Now here it creates the OH over there. 
here it creates the transposition transposition CO vegetal why because it is a stabilized light will use the E isomer as a measure E isomer as a measure okay now we discuss the, some of the examples regarding to the these four uh, five, four categories after that we will discuss some of the limitations of the reticular okay okay now we will go through the some of the problems regarding to the those four categories now the first category so they are given in the like a uh, ethers okay ether containing ether containing elide ether containing elide now what will happen ether containing elide will treat it with carbonyl compounds the remaining total molecule is unaffected okay now here o methyl here o methyl it is a uh, ether containing OCH3 ether containing olefin is formed that is nothing but vinyl ethers so whenever they are used in the like uh, some amount of acidic catalyst acidic catalyst okay it is react as a catalyst now what will happen here hydrolysis takes place now hydrolysis that means here it is OH hydrolysis followed by keto in tautomerism we will get the olefin sorry we will get the aldehyde not the olefin okay now here it is O methyl O, o methyl this is the first category of uh, uh, like a uh, first example of uh, our our class. Okay. Now the, I'll go through the second one. Okay. Now the second example here pH three CH CH O O ether. Now here it is ethers, but it is not directly connected. That's why here what will happen? So here not connected. That means it is taken as a donating group. So now we will get the uh, like a Z isomer as a major. Okay. Here it is Z isomer CH O ethyl CH O ethyl CH. O ethyl. So now these two are undergoing the hydrolysis. Now we will get the corresponding aldehydes. Corresponding aldehyde. So this is the second product. This is the second product. Now we'll go through the third one, which is nothing but a intramolecular reaction. Okay. So now here they are, they are did not they didn't give the like a direct phosphorylase. Okay. Now we'll prepare the phosphorylase from starting one. Now this lone pair of electrons attack over the like alkyl halide containing compound. Now it becomes uh, like this. So, which is a P, PH3 plus. So, here it is minus, Br minus. Okay, now here it is carbonyl compound. So, they are given in this uh, like a decimal, a decimal uh, uh, like a base. Okay, this base will up, will obstruct the proton. Then, 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 okay. Uh, so, so this, uh, this proton will obstruct the base. Now, here it becomes a minus. Okay, so this is the, here it creates the double bond. Now, this double bond will uh, tolerates the double bond formation this elide will tolerate the double bond formation now however the fifth example so the fifth example also intramolecular now here nhc double bond o r okay now here it is a vitic reagent they are given in the base that means here it is it creates the elide okay that elide will treat it with carbonyl compound now what will happen so here it creates the five member ring with uh, along with double bond which is nothing but uh, like a uh, indole okay substituted uh, indole okay now in case of a fifth compound here here already it it present the elide that's why it is readily readily forms the like a s c double bond c o r okay which is nothing but a penem rings in penicillins okay like a penicillin vitamins okay it is the penem ring preparation okay these are the uh, best examples regarding to the vitic reaction now uh, among with uh, Okay, now we discuss some of the limitations of uh, Wittig reactions. Now the first one is, uh, so the byproduct P, PH3, P double bond, that is a phosphonyl oxide. So which is uh, very difficult to remove the uh, reaction mixture. Okay, it's removal, that means uh, uh, the evaporation or separation of the byproduct, uh, separation of the byproduct in reaction mixture, it is uh, very difficult. Okay, so that's why uh, this reaction not favorable. Okay, sometimes it, it takes a lot of time. That that, that is the major drop, uh, drawback of the Wittig reaction. Major drawback of the Wittig reaction. Now the second drawback. So the preparation of uh, like a tetra substitution olefins are not possible. Tetra substitution. That means bulkier alkene preparation. Tetra substituted alkene preparation also not possible. Okay. Now the third drawback of uh, Wittig reaction. It is difficult to predict. Uh, it is difficult to predict uh, like a uh, uh, stereo E and Z isomer, E and uh, Z isomer. Okay, so these all drawbacks overcome the like a uh, Horner, Woodsworth, Emmons, Emmons uh, uh, scientists. They are introduced, the, they are modified the Wittig reaction without these uh, drawbacks. Okay, so now we will discuss the uh, those Horner, Woodsworth, Emmons reaction in next lecture. Okay, so thank you for watching.